Hey guys, it's Ashita and we're back with another video for OVO and this time it's a little bit more different uh, considering February is upon us and Valentine's Day is just around the corner OVR has set up a competition for Valentine's Day where people can make a whole bunch of AR experiences for everyone to enjoy and also win a couple of awards um, for this Valentine's Day version of their AR awards so here you can see on their site that they've got all the information you need to know about what you can win and it also shows the other projects that other people have uh, already submitted for the contest um, so we just took a look at that and realized that everything is very lovey-dovey um, and very <laughs> classic love oriented so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the project that we're going to be submitting for this contest we're just going to start with a time lapse of Pasindu modeling the cute little teddy bear that we decided we're going to make for this contest. Um, after this, I will add a sketch of what we started with um, for you guys to see that as well, how we conceptualized uh, this little scene. And then we'll just continue with him modeling the little teddy bear. And this is what the concept art looked like. If you guys are interested in seeing a little bit more in-depth videos about how to use OVR and how we imported our very own models from Blender into um, this AR-centric platform, uh, I suggest that you go ahead and check out the playlist on our channel because we've now had a total of including this one, three videos for OVR. So it's been a cool journey. And if anybody else out there wants to try putting their um, projects into AR and experience it like this in um, the real world space, I suggest checking out OVR um, in the links down below in the description. Also, if you guys are interested in applying for this contest, if you guys already have OVR land and um, are looking to make a model for it just go ahead and check out the links in the description below this video and follow what we do in this video as well to uh, upload your own model so here's a little boy with his colors and lighting in blender itself so now i'm going to grab the imported file and see what i can do with it in ovr all right so now that we've got the model already i've gone ahead and pulled it into ovr if you guys want to know a little bit more about how to navigate through this space and bring in your model with its animations and etc um, we have a couple of videos for you so go ahead and click the link above here if you want to check it out right now i'm just adding a couple of lights one is an ambient light it's going to change the lighting of the whole scene into this slight pinkish hue and i'm adding another one right now that's a directional light um, and i'm going to try to move it around the scene so it could um, hit the model at a specific angle and then just kind of try to imitate a rim light so if anybody who is trying this out is familiar with working in uh, platforms like blender or maya you will know that this is a little um, clumsier than um, you know obviously 3d oriented platforms but um, if you have a minimum of three lights it will perform pretty okay Right now, I'm going to try and add music to the scene. So I went ahead and found some no copyright music from YouTube, downloaded it. And what you're going to want to do is to go ahead into my assets, the audio section and drag and drop the file that you want to play music from in your scene. And it's really adorable. As soon as anybody interacts with your scene, when they open it in their OVR app on their mobile phones or their PCs, however they're trying to interact with it, um, the music will start playing automatically as long as you follow these settings that we have kept here. I didn't go to mess around with too much of the settings just in case. So just follow these settings right here and uh, you'll be able to get a really cool scene. So right now I'm just uploading the model to the land and also to the test workspace, which is where we got this test footage from. Uh, seeing that it looks kind of cute and the music works, we're gonna go ahead and check it out at the location. So see you guys there. And here is what it looked like on site. As you can see, it's a little bit larger than normal. Um, and it looks kind of adorable. We had to go a little bit early because it's Independence Day where we are in Sri Lanka. So 
the streets are a bit busy um, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to actually put your uh, project into the competition so let's get into that right now so go ahead and navigate to this link that's on screen it's also in our video description and as soon as you get there you're gonna to want to sign in and scroll down just a little bit till you see this white button here that lets you submit your projects once you click that it'll scroll you all the way down to this little form and just fill it in select the land that you have your project on in case you have multiples make sure you select the right one give it a title and a little description and then it will prompt you to upload a video file as well as a png image or just an image jpeg whatever you have so once you go ahead and submit this it'll take a little bit of time um, and then once it is uploaded it will allow you one day to make any kind of edits until your project is locked and submitted to the competition so good luck everybody and also happy valentine's day i hope you guys had fun watching this project unfold with us as a team and we'll be back with our next video hey guys thank you for watching this video huge thank you to our patrons who helped make this possible thank you for your support uh if you also want to support yourself you can join us on our patreon we also have a cool discord channel for creatives just like us uh to join and collaborate so See you guys there if that interests you.